Um, the people are genuinely open. They sort of don't mind me coming through in these shorts and long socks and being a bit huddled and coming up with little tram gifts and tickets and saying Balawa Chair, Army Australian Tram Conductor, Tram Mela, boom, 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 boom. There's a sort of openness to people where um, you can come in and be, you know, a little bit odd and people accept that and people love trams in Kolkata. So there's an affinity, there's a special um, character between Melbourne and Kolkata we both Malubasi love trams. Uh, so I come back here because I love trams, I come back to Kolkata because I love the city. I also love the architecture of the city. I like its British colonial heritage. You look at some of the laneways in North Kolkata, if you're up College Street and Chitpur and Bobajar and Badabajar, all those places are fascinating to me. Joshenko where Rabindranath Tagore is born. Go across a little bit and you've got Swami Vivekananda's place. Go a little bit further and you've got Vidasaka's place who fought for the rights of women. The Bengali Renaissance interests me enormously. So many, I mean the height of, there's an intellectual wealth in this city that quite amazes me that carries through into the modern era. So there's many things that I like about the city, including the Hooghly River, which pierces through the heart of the city, and the Howrah Bridge, which used to have trams on it, a beautiful big steel span bridge that runs over to the busiest station, I'm told, in India, at the Howrah Railway Station. There are so many things in Kolkata that are attractive and beautiful, and that's what draws me back. Does it make sense? Yeah. Has it got a bit of sense to it?